Hey guys, this is Joseph Christina. I just want to thank you for purchasing the Portrait Series Professional Retouching Brushes for Lightroom. I've been developing these brushes for probably a year or two now, and they're the actual brushes that I use in studio for doing professional portrait work. Now, probably like you guys, I've used to go from Lightroom over to Photoshop and then Photoshop back to Lightroom. It's very time consuming and we know time is money. So I developed these brushes as a way that I can just stay in Lightroom and do everything, all of my portrait retouching from within Lightroom and never having to leave. It really has saved a lot of time. Now, let's go ahead and delve right into it. I'm gonna give you just a quick demo on how I use it. So to start with, we need to make sure that your image that you're bringing in is using the latest development software. If it is not, you will see a window pop up that says, do you want to update this image to the latest version, the latest processing? Here you're going to say yes. This is very important. Now bear in mind, this happens because you probably brought in an image that maybe been in the Lightroom library for the last year or two, and their process changes over time. So what we need to do is update to the latest and greatest process so that we have added functionality. Now you'll notice on the right hand side here, there's only about five or six different options when it comes to adjustment brushes. Once we make this modification, you will see on the right hand side, new brush possibilities. And here we go. Now we have sharpness, moray, and other things that you, we didn't have before. So we need to make sure that the image that you're going to process is current. Now let's move on. So as I said, we're gonna use an image that was the image that was used on the box cover. Now, this image, you can see that the model is a little bit red. Of course, we always tell people, when you come into the studio, please don't get sun the day before because it really affects us after the fact in, in post because we have to take out a lot of redness. You'll see around his neck here, it's very red. Around the side of his face is really red. This has to be reduced. Now, in the past, people would go and reduce this by lowering the amount of saturation or maybe vibrancy, but that really doesn't work. That creates gray skin. We don't want gray skin, we want beautiful skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick my perfect skin and I'm gonna take a medium on this and highlight the entire face. And then what we're going to do, once the whole face is highlighted, we're going to cut out the eye area and the lip area and then kind of move on from there. This is going to put that specific adjustment onto the skin of the face only. So it's starting to look a little bit better already, but now we wanna go ahead and grab our sunburn tool because this is very important. Now this also works for all kinds of redness, rosacea uh, and whatnot. And we're gonna paint this over just the red areas. And remember, this is an additive process. So if you need more of something, you can always add more to it or reduce more of it. So we're gonna paint this over once. His face is looking really good, but his neck is still red. So let's go ahead and go over it one more time. And now we're seeing that it's really starting to take away that sunburn and it's really looking nice. And now we didn't desaturate the skin at all. His skin remains the same. We are neutralizing that redness. Let's move on. We're gonna go from here, we're gonna jump into his hair and add a little bit of highlights. We don't wanna to go too crazy with it. I like just a little bit of subtle highlights so it kind of pops off the background a little bit. And then from here, we're gonna move into his eye area. We're gonna lighten his eyes. We can also, some people have yellowish um, whites. We can reduce for that or some redness. We're gonna use a base whiteness. And now jump into the iris. We have five or six or seven different eye colors that we can enhance, but instead I'm using baseline on this also because I like that steely look of his eyes. I really like his eyes a lot. Now we're gonna move into some defining. And the little definition here of his little stubble on his chin, it really, this kind of is his character, his personality. We don't wanna mush this all up. So we wanna define it. So we go ahead and do that. And then finally his T-zone. This area is normally where you or I would end up getting greasy. As a photographer, we know that this is a problematic area. This is where you end up with those blown highlights or whatnot. These are the areas that we want to powder when we're doing professional shoots. 
But by highlighting this T-zone, the face looks more three-dimensional, really looks absolutely great. We see that he was extremely sunburned and you can see some imperfections here or there. We didn't remove any imperfections in this demo at all. We only did the color correction and that is it. And you can see from all this redness, through the nose area and to the side and now you can see the final and it's night and day and we have not even touched Photoshop. The beauty of using the portrait series is you can do everything from within Lightroom. You don't need to go into Photoshop and also unlike other brushes that basically turn models into mannequins like I joke about all the time, it does not create plastic skin. The skin is still there. You can zoom in and you'll see all the pores. We're not just taking a blurring tool and just blurring all the skin away and then going and adding noise for fake skin, which so many people want to do. You don't need to do that with this specific tool. So anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed the product and any comments, please go ahead and find me over there on Twitter. That's at Joseph Christina. If there's any ideas that you have, any additions that you might want to see in a second version down the road, please let me know. Once again, thanks so much for purchasing the Portrait Series Lightroom Retouching Brushes. Enjoy.